कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ओम ज्ञान तिमिरांदस्या ृजाताजीव ंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका नमस्ते गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी देवी प्रणवामे वृंदवनेश्वरीवेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गाधार शिवासादिगुरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे नम ओं विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमदे भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाशादेशिणे मुखम कौति वाचाल भंगु लंगयते गिरी यत्त वंदे श्री गुरो दीनता परमानंद माधव श्री चैतन्य ईश्वर जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जय द्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जय द्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद जय जय श्री चैतन्य जय निनंद जय द्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद All glories to Lord Chaitanya. All glories to Lord Nityananda. All glories to Advaita Chandra, and all glories to all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya. Hare Krishna. So welcoming you for Madhya Lila Chapter Eight, and we are in this section where we would be talking about the sadhana or process and the sadhya or goal. So balance. We have three, four more sections totally. So in the last session we saw we were discussing about raga nuga bhakti and how that raga nuga is the one and only way to attain the lotus feet of Krishna in Golok Vrindavan, and it was being described by Ramanand Rai as how Gopi's love for Krishna is unparalleled, and one needs to follow in the footsteps of Gopi's. So continuing with the same here. नायम सुखापो भगवान देही नाम गोपिका सुता ज्ञानी नाम चात्म भूता यथा भक्ति मता द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेट कृष्णा द सन ऑफ मदर यशोदा इज एक्सेबल टू दोज डिवोडीज एंगेज इन स्पॉन्टेनियस लविंग सर्विस बट ही इज नॉट एज इजीली एक्सेबल टू मटीरियल स्पेक्यूलेटर्स to those striving for self realization by severe austerities and penances or to those who consider the body the same as the self so this is the glorification of spontaneous loving service unto the supreme lord and such devotee has a direct access to the supreme lord but such an access is not 
available to whom? To mental speculators or those who are trying to follow the process of jnana, those who are trying to achieve self-realization by severe austerities, by uh, tapa and by other penances. So it is not possible for them. It's very difficult and definitely it is the most difficult for one who thinks I am this body who does not even have the knowledge that I am not this body, I am spirit soul. Atheva gopi bhava kari angitara Ratri dina chinte radha krishne rabi hara Therefore, one should accept the mood of the gopis in their service. In such a transcendental mood, one should always think of the pastimes of Sri Radha and Krishna. Siddha dehe chinti kare tahani sevana Stakhi bhava paya Radha Krishna racharana After thinking of Radha and Krishna and their pastimes for a long time, and after getting completely free from material contamination, one is transferred to the spiritual world. There are devotees. There the devotees attain an opportunity to serve Radha and Krishna as one of the gopis. So what is required if, we want, if a devotee wants to serve the Lord in the association of the Sakhis of Krishna, the gopis of Krishna, serve uh, Shri Shri Radha and Krishna. So what one has to do? One, one has to meditate <clears throat> and think of the pastimes of Radha and Krishna for a very, very long time and be completely free from material contamination, which means one does not even have a desire for material enjoyment. Gopi Anugatya Vina Gyane Unless one follows in the footsteps of the gopis, he cannot attain the service of the lotus feet of Krishna, the son of Nanda Maharaj. If one is overcome by knowledge of the Lord's opulence, he cannot attain the Lord's lotus feet, even though he is engaged in devotional service. So if we are too influenced and too impacted just by the opulence of the Supreme Lord, then that... that transcendental emotions for the supreme lord would not appear because we would be we would be always conscious that he's a supreme lord and here we see that the gopis of rindavan so they had such sweet dealings with krishna because there was no tinge of lord's opulence also the knowledge of lord's opulence they were so spontaneously attracted to krishna they did not need any external reason the unspoken example in this connection is the goddess of fortune who worshipped Lord Krishna in order to attain his pastimes in Vrindavan but due to her opulent lifestyle she could not attain the service of Krishna in Vrindavan. So we see that the love for Krishna that gopis have one it is very intimate and it is free from opulences it is very um, simple village uh, you know like lifestyle and uh, great amount of intimacy is there but Lakshmi Devi she is the goddess of fortune she had this she has a very opulent lifestyle and that didn't really match uh, with the mood of Vrindavan. So, she, although she wanted, she desired, but she could not attain such service to Krishna in Vrindavan. So, the whole conversation began because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked a very specific question that what is the process to attain the goal? So, in the last session, we saw that uh, the goal is to worship Krishna, to associate with Krishna, following the footsteps of gopis. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, so how do we do that? And this whole section, it was to explain that. And here we see, after hearing this, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu embraced Ramananda Rai and both of them embracing shoulder to shoulder began to cry. <laughs> The entire night was passed in this way in ecstatic love of Godhead. 
In the morning, they both departed to tend to their respective duties. Vidaya Samaya Prabhu Charani Dariya Ramananda Raya Kaje Vinati Kariya before departing from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Ramananda Rai fell to the ground and caught hold of Lord slow to speak. He then spoke submissively as follows. So he is making our request. Sri Ramananda Rai said, You have come here just to show me your causeless mercy. Therefore, stay here for at least 10 days and purify my polluted mind. So, Ramananda Rai here is requesting that Lord Chaitanya, you have come here just to bless me and to give me your causeless mercy. So, I request you please continue for some more days, 10 more days and so that, you know, my dushtaman or my polluted mind can be purified. So, this reveals the inner thoughts of a exalted pure Vaishnava, a pure devotee like Ramananda Rai. Now, Ramananda Rai has revealed the highest truths. We could understand that from where he started, from Varnashram system, all the way to the love of the gopis for Krishna and how that, um, among that, the love of Srimati Radharani is the highest because she experienced the greatest ecstasy in serving Krishna and the mood and attitude of the gopis and Srimati Radharani. So, the kind of a knowledge which uh, Ramananda Rai had and of course he gave all the credit to Lord Chaitanya for revealing all this in his heart and still at the end of that conversation he is saying please stay for some more time and purify my polluted mind. So this is such an amazing attitude and mood to have irrespective of what advancement we make in spiritual life. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued to say nothing of 10 days as long as I live I shall find it impossible to give up your company you and I shall remain together at Jagannath Puri we shall pass our time together in joy talking about Krishna and his pastimes so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying that I don't want to leave your company and we both will stay together in Jagannath Puri. So moving ahead to the next section, again a series of questions and answers and this is very interesting. Here he is going to ask about few of the greatest things. Prabhu Puche Ramananda Karina Uttara Vimata Se Ratri Katha Paraspara Sri Ramana, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked the questions and Sri Ramananda Rai gave the answers. In this way, they were engaged in discussion throughout the night. Of all types of education, which is the most important? No education is important other than the transcendental devotional service of Krishna. So here the, the conversation has begun with, between Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Rai and we see that the question is very wonderful and the answer like when we talk of education and we are so busy with our academics and our mundane education and doing some extra courses and all and here Ramananda Rai is saying no education is important other than the transcendental devotional service of Krishna. This is because the goal is already set where one has to go. So with respect to that goal of course this very natural answer. Out of all glorious activities, which is the most glorious? That person who is reputed to be a devotee of Lord Krishna enjoys the utmost fame and glory. Out of the many capitalists who possesses great riches, who is the topmost? He who is richest in love for Radha and Krishna is the greatest capitalist. So again, holding money, it's not so important. What is important is holding the names of Shri Shri Radha and Krishna, chanting their names and serving them. Of all kinds of distress, what is the most painful? Apart from separation from the devotee of Krishna, I know of no unbearable happiness. So this is how I know of no unbearable unhappiness. So this is what a devotee actually thinks 
and this is how he feels for him everything else doesn't really matter there is uh, heat and there is cold there is honor there is dishonor there is life there is death all of that is tolerable and there is not no no, no problem in that material distress is not a problem what is a problem what is unbearable for a devotee is separation from the devotee of krishna and therefore when ramananda rai requested chaitanya mahaprabhu to stay for 10 more days and chaitanya mahaprabhu said what to talk about 10 days you come over to jagannath puri and we'll spend rest of the life together oh my goodness i mean what an amazing offer that was and how much joy both the lord and his devotee have received just by that statement of chaitanya mahaprabhu out of all liberated persons who should be accepted as the greatest he who has love for Krishna has attained the topmost liberation. So there are different categories of liberation or types of liberation. We have discussed that five types, Sayuja, Samipya, Sashti. So five types of liberation out of which the topmost liberation is attaining the love for Krishna, Krishna Prem. Among many songs, which is to be considered the actual religion of the living entity? Songs describing the loving affairs of Sri Radha and Krishna are superior to all other songs. Out of all auspicious and beneficial activities, which is the best for the living entity? The only auspicious activity is association with the devotees of Krishna. So much emphasis is there on associating with devotees because the type of association we keep we become like that. So it's glorious. If It's very, very, it's a mat matter of great fortune if we have association of devotees. Hari, hari. What, what should all living entities constantly remember? The chief objects of remembrance are always the Lord's holy name, qualities and pastimes. So this is what we must always remember. Even if we forget our name, no problem. We should always remember Lord's holy name, his qualities and pastimes. Out of many types of meditation which is required for all living entities. The chief duty of every living entity is to meditate upon the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. So that is the most important meditation, meditating on Radha Krishna's lotus feet. Where should the living entity live abandoning all other places? He should live in the holy place known as Vrindavan of Vrajabhumi, where the Lord performed his Rasa dance. So of all the places, one should reside in Vrindavan. And we see that the same instruction is given at the end of Nekto instruction also, that one should reside in Vrindavan. So why? Because that is the land of the Lord. It has been touched by the lotus footprints of the Lord. And it's an eternal land of Krishna's residence. So the, everything helps us remind of the Supreme Lord and uh, Vrindavan and Shrita Mayapur are non-different. So whether we stay in Shivindavan Dham or we stay in Shri Mayapur Dham, they are all non-different spiritual worlds. And of course, we can always visit these holy places. We may not be in a position to stay there. We can always be in touch with these centers all over the world, wherever we are, local center. Why? Because like there is a country and then there are embassies of those countries, the consulates of those countries. So like that, there are spawn temples, which are the representatives of Vrindavan and Mayapur Dham. Out of all topics, people listen to which is best for all living entities. Hearing about the loving affairs between Radha and Krishna is most pleasing to the ear. Among all worshipable objects, which is the chief? The chief worshipable object is the holy name of Radha and Krishna, the Hare Krishna mantra. So this is the chief worshipable object. So if we want, we must devote the maximum amount of time at our disposal in worshipping the Lordships by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. What is the destination of those who desire liberation and those who desire sense gratification? 
those who attempt to merge into the existence of the Supreme Lord will have to accept bodies like those of trees. And those who are overly inclined towards sense gratification will attain the bodies of demigods. So if a person is performing some, um, some worship to Krishna, but with her desire to attain liberation, then he attains the bodies of a tree and those who are not able to give up their sense gratification, though they have some love for Krishna, so then they attain the bodies of demigod. Asakya kaka chuche jnana nimba pale Asakya kokila khaya prema mramo kule Ramananda Rai continued, Those who are devoid of all transcendental mellows are like the crows who suck the juice from the bitter fruits of the nimba tree of knowledge. Whereas those who enjoy mellows are like the cuckoos who eat the buds of the mango tree of love of Godhead. So two types of personalities are described here. Arasagya. So those who have no knowledge of these five uh, relationships which one can have the with which one can have with the supreme personality of Godhead, they are like uh, you know, the gyanis who have no knowledge of this, they are like crows who are sucking the juice of the uh, bitter juice of the bitter fruit of the nimba tree of knowledge. And on the other hand, we have those who have the knowledge of rasa, the rasa gyas. They are like cuckoo <coughs> and they are tasting the wonderful love of Godhead fruit, the fruit like a mango uh, bud tree of the cherry like it's like eating the bud of mango tree of love of god abhagi agyani aswa shushka gyana krishna prema mrita pana kare bhagyavana ramananda rai concluded the unfortunate empiric philosophers taste the dry process of philosophical knowledge whereas the devotees regularly drink the nectar of love of krishna Therefore, they are most fortunate of all. So, the conclusion, because uh, he, this section was the great things and different questions were being asked. And here, finally, the conclusion is that the devotees of the Lord are the greatest because they meditate on the holy names of Shishi Radha Krishna. They hear about Radha Krishna. They sing the glories of Radha Krishna and they want to serve Radha Krishna. So, the process is full of nectar and the result is full of nectar. And moving to the next section, now this is a very uh, intriguing section because here Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for the first time he would reveal his form to Ramananda Rai. The next morning they both departed to perform their respective duties but in the evening Ramananda Rai returned to meet the Lord again. Ishta Goshti Krishna Katha Kahi Kata Krishna Prabhupada Dhari Raya Kari Nivedana That evening after discussing the topics of Krishna for some time, Ramananda Rai caught hold of the lotus feet of the Lord and spoke as follows. Krishna Tattva Radha Tattva Prema Tattva Sara Rasa Tattva Leela Tattva Vividha Prakara There is a variety of transcendental truths, tattvas. What are these? The truth about Krishna, Krishna Tattva, the truth about Radharani, the truth about their loving affairs, the truth about transcendental humors, Rasa Tattva, and the truth about the Lord's pastimes. Eta tattva mora jitte kaila prakashana Rama ke vita yena parayana You have manifested all these transcendental truths in my heart. This is exactly the way Narayan educated Lord Brahma. So now Ramananda Raya is telling that Krishna tattva, Radha tattva, the glories of gopis, the uh, dealings of, loving dealings of Krishna and his gopis, so all these things, just because you were asking questions and you were empowering me to answer, 
so basically you are the source of that knowledge you gave me that knowledge and you made me speak it out and he is telling it is exactly like how lord brahma received the knowledge from supreme lord vishnu so uh, narayan actually transfers the knowledge to the heart of brahma so that is what he is referring here that all these transcendental truths actually you have implanted in my heart and you are making me speak पहिले देखिलु तो मार सन्यासी स्वरूपा एवे तो मा देखी मुनी श्याम गोप रूपा रामानंद राय देन टोल लॉर्ड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एट फर्स्ट आई सॉ यू अपीयर लाइक अ सन्यासी बट नाउ आई एम सीइंग यू एज श्याम सुंदर द काउहट बॉय सो द होल विजन ऑफ रामानंद राय हैड चेंज अर्लियर ही सॉ चैतन्य महाप्रभु एज अ सन्यासी यू रिमेंबर दैट व्हेन uh ramanand rai was came came in a procession he saw the sanyas he offered his obeisances to him and now over these few days you know the vision of ramanand rai has changed and he is seeing lord chaitanya mahaprabhu as a shyam gopa rupa tomara samukhe dekhi kanchan panchalika tanra gaura kante tomar sarvanga daka i now see you appearing like a golden doll and your entire body appears covered by a golden luster so now ramanand rai is saying that after talking to you for so many days i feel that i see in you shyam sundar or krishna but then krishna is dark in complexion and i see you like a golden doll so you cannot be krishna so what am i seeing what is happening why do i see shyam sundar within you though you are golden ताहते प्रकट देखो सावम शिव धना नाना भाव चंचलता हे कमल नयना आई सी दैट यू आर होल्डिंग अ फ्लूट टू योर माउथ एंड योर लोटस आईज आर मूविंग वेरी रेसलेसली ड्यू टू वेरियस एक्सटेसीज ए मद तो मा देखी होय चमत्कार कपटे कह प्रभु कारण इहार I actually see you in this way and this is very wonderful my lord please tell me without duplicity a kapate so <laughs> don't do any kapat so without duplicity what is causing this karana ihar what is the reason behind all this what i am seeing why i am seeing you as a golden doll and then i am seeing you sham sundar and then suddenly i see you as sanyasi and then again i see you holding the flute so what is happening प्रभु कहे कृष्ण तो मार गाढ़ प्रेम हया लॉर्ड श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु लाइट यू हैव अ डीप लव फॉर कृष्ण एंड वन हु हैज सच डीप एक्सटैटिक लव फॉर द लॉर्ड नेचुरली सीज थिंग्स इन सच अ वे प्लीज टेक दिस फ्रॉम मी टू बी सर्टेन So because Ramananda Rai said, please tell me in non-duplicitous way, in a kapat way. So Lord is saying, please take it as certain from me that because you have such deep, profound love, gada prem for Krishna, this such a vision is natural for you. Mahabhagavat dekhe swamar jagama taha taha haya tanra. Shri Krishna's Purana. A devotee advanced on the spiritual platform sees everything movable and inert as the Supreme Lord. For him, everything he sees here and there is but a manifestation of Lord Krishna. So he's saying, "You are Mahabhagavat. You are a top class devotee. And for, what is the vision of that top class devotee? That he sees Krishna's presence everywhere around him. So even if lifeless objects, also he sees Krishna." So he's saying that is why you are seeing. That is why uh, you are having that vision. Sarva bhute shu yah pashe bhagavat bhavam atmana ha bhutani bhagavati atmani esha bhagavato tamaha. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu continued. A person advanced in devotional service sees within everything the soul of souls, the supreme personality of Godhead, Shri Krishna. Consequently, he always sees the form of the supreme personality of Godhead as a cause of all causes, and understands that all things are situated in Him. So, this is the vision 
of a person most advanced in devotional service of Mahabhagavat. So what does he see? He sees within everything, within every being in this material world, the soul of souls, the Paramatma. He sees the Supreme Personality of Godhead residing in the heart of all living entities. And he sees that this Supreme Lord is actually the cause of all causes. From him only the Prakriti has come, which has transformed and from which everybody has, this uh, material creation has happened. All the living entities have received their bodies and that is how everybody is moving through different species in this material world. So that is how the Lord is cause of all causes and that everything is actually situated within him. Everything is under his supreme control. Radhikara bhava kanti kari angikara nijarasa aswadite kari achaptara Ramananda Rai continued. My dear Lord, I can understand that you have assumed the ecstasy and bodily complexion of Srimati Radharani. By accepting this, you are tasting your own personal transcendental humor and have therefore appeared as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So just like how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was revealing all the details to Ramananda Rai directly in his heart, so this also got revealed to Ramananda Rai that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is none other than the Supreme Lord Krishna, with the complexion of Srimati Radharani. And he is also telling that what is the purpose of this incarnation? So you have come like this because you want to taste your own transcendental humor. That amazing rasa you want to enjoy and that is why you have appeared as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Nija Guda Karya Tomar Prema Aswadana Anushange Prema Maya Vaila Tribhuvana my dear Lord, you have described this incarnation of Lord Chaitanya for your own personal reasons. You have come to taste your own spiritual bliss. And at the same time, you are transforming the whole world by spreading the ecstasy of love of Godhead. So in this verse, Ramananda Rai has compiled the reasons why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has appeared. So Lord Chaitanya had his own personal reasons. Why? Because he wanted to taste what Shrimati Radharani tastes in his in her relationship with Krishna. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna himself wanted to taste that own spiritual bliss of serving Krishna. And of course, at the same time, the Lord wanted to spread this glorious love of God, excessive love, love of God with all unfortunate living entities in this material world. Apane harile more karite dhara ebe kapatkara tomar kona vyavahara My dear Lord, by your causeless mercy, you have appeared before me to grant me liberation. Now you are playing in a duplicitous way. What is the reason for this behavior? So actually Ramananda Rai has concluded, he has already concluded in the previous verse that you are Supreme Lord Krishna and uh, you have why have you appeared so you wanted to taste these transcendental mellows and that is why you have appeared like this so actually uh, today morning i was listening to one of the lectures by my guru maharaj and uh, he was narrating a beautiful pastime for Sh from shrimad <coughs> so he was describing that how krishna once he was lying down and rukmini devi she was massaging krishna's feet and then Krishna noticed that Rukmini Devi started crying. And Krishna asked, My dear Rukmini, what happened? Why are you crying? What happened? Did I do something wrong? Did I speak something? Did someone speak to you something? Did your co-wife said something to you? What is wrong? Why you are crying? And Rukmini Devi was just not responding. She, like incidentally, she was unable to control and the tears were flowing from her eyes. So Krishna continued asking why, why, why? And then finally she replies, she says, you will not understand, you don't know that reason. Now, this was the first time when somebody was telling Krishna that there is something which you don't know. Now, Krishna became very perturbed and he was like, what? Because he is the Supreme Lord, he knows everything. So, Rukmini said, no, 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 you cannot understand and you do not know at all. You can never come to that conclusion or uh, the reason you cannot estimate that reason so krishna was very eager and then he started asking could you please explain did someone someone else also knows or is it only you know and i don't know what is it what is this mystery so rukmini devi says i know 
and Shrimati Radha Rani knows and all your devotees know but you cannot know. So then Krishna was again asking what is this and then Rukmini says that the devotees love for you. Why I love you or why Radha Rani loves you or how we feel in your presence you cannot understand. So that is the time when Krishna decides that he will come as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and then we know the that, 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 that is exactly what Raman and the Rai is saying that this is the reason why you have come. So he's asking, why are you playing in this duplicitous way? What is the reason for this behavior? Lord Shri Krishna is the reservoir of all pleasure, and Srimati Radharani is the personification of ecstatic love of Godhead. These two forms had combined as one in Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This being the case. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu revealed his real form to Ramananda Rai. So here we see that one, Lord Krishna is the reservoir of all pleasure and Srimati Radharani, she is the, if ecstatic love of Godhead is personified, that is Srimati Radharani. And both these forms have combined together in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this is the beautiful depiction of the form that was revealed to Ramananda Rai. Dekhi Ramananda Haila Nande Murchite Nadite Na Pare Deha Body La Bhumite So can you imagine like for last 10 days they were conversing every single day, the whole night they were discussing about Shri Shri Radha Krishna and Ramananda Rai was thinking that yes there is one the sannyasi who is very close to my heart who inspires me to speak something wonderful and I am speaking and today suddenly that sannyasi has revealed this gorgeous form so as we can see in the picture there that the sannyasi is revealing that form where Srimati Radharani and Shri Krishna they are personally present. So just in the previous section, we heard that how Ramananda Rai was glorifying, how he was telling that anything associated with Shri Radha and Krishna is the best, is the most glorious. And here in front of him, they appeared. So upon seeing this form, Ramananda Rai lost consciousness in transcendental bliss. Unable to remain standing, he fell to the ground. Prabhu Tanre Hasta Sparshi Karai Lachitana Sanyasi Ravesha Dekhi Vismatai Lamana When Ramananda Rai fell to the ground unconscious, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu touched his hand and immediately regained consciousness. But when he saw Lord Chaitanya in the dress of a sanyasi, he was struck with wonder. Alingana Kari Prabhu Kaila Ashwasana Toma Bihai Rupa Nadeke Anyajana After embracing Ramananda Rai, the Lord pacified him, informing him, But for you, no one has ever seen this form. So this is the first time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is actually manifesting that form where Ramananda Rai could perceive that how he is the combination of Shishi Radha and Krishna. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu confirmed, All the truths about my pastimes and mellows are within your knowledge. Therefore, I have shown this form to you. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is informing Ramananda Rai that you are actually so well qualified that you know all the tattvas about my pastimes, about the rasas, the relationships. You know all of this and therefore I have shown this form to you. Actually, my body does not have a fair complexion. It only appears so because it has touched the body of Srimati Radharani. However, she does not touch anyone but the son of Nanda Maharaj. So Radharani is so loyal, so chaste that other than Krishna, she does not touches anyone. And then he is saying that I have acquired this complexion because she has touched me. So, indirectly, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is accepting that he is the son of Nanda Maharaj. Tanra bhave bhavit kali atma mana 
I have now converted my body and mind into the ecstasy of Shrimati Radharani. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is explaining that I have converted my form and the mind into the ecstasies of Shrimati Radharani. And thus, I am tasting my own personal sweetness in that form. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then admitted to his pure devotee Ramanandarai. Now there is no confidential activity unknown to you. Even though I try to conceal my activities, you can understand everything in detail by virtue of your advanced love for me. So what is the qualification? How can one know Krishna? Only when one advances in his love for Krishna, that is the time, that is the only way. So there are so many demigods, there are so many scholars, so many philosophers, so many mental speculators. No one can know Krishna. To know Krishna, one has to advance and become pure devotee without any material desires. And then we will see, then we can more easily and profoundly understand Bhagavad Gita, Shrimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Gupte rakha iha kaha na kare yo prakasha, amar patula cheshta loke upahasa. The Lord then requested Ramanandarai, keep all these talks a secret. Please do not expose them anywhere and everywhere. Since my activities appear to be like those of a madman, people may take them lightly and laugh. And this is more so of the later pastimes of Lord. You know, towards the, uh, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was spending his last few years and then actually this happened because he would experience such strong spiritual emotions that it, to a person who does not really understand the reasons, he, Lord may appear like a, you know, madman, and they may take it lightly, they may laugh. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that's why I requested Ramanadarai to keep this whole talk secret. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what he is saying? Batul, I am a madman, and you are also a madman. Therefore, we are on the same platform. A Samatula. So, we are on the same platform and we can understand each other. E Rupa Dasha Ratri Ramananda Sange Sukhe Gona Hila Prabhu Krishna Katha Rangi For 10 nights, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Rai spent a happy time discussing the pastimes of Krishna. And moving to the last section of this chapter, glorious conversation of Lord Chaitanya and Ramanandarai. So we would be discussing about how important and significant this whole last three, four sessions were which we have been attending uh, and witnessing the conversation between these two most wonderful personalities. The conversations between Ramananda Rai and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu contain the most confidential subject matters. Touching the conjugal love between Radha and Krishna and Vrindavan, although they talked at great length about these pastimes, they could not reach the limit of discussion. So this is another amazing thing about spiritual discussions and here of course the discussion is about the most confidential subject matter is that love of Shrimati Radharani for Krishna and Krishna's love for her in Vrindavan. So they were talking and talking and we could understand it. In fact we saw that whole night they were discussing and not just for one day or two days they were discussing for actually more than 10 days. And they still could not reach the limit of such discussion where Krishna himself was involved in the discussion. Actually, these conversations are like a great mine where from a single place you can extract all kinds of metals, copper, bell metal, silver and gold. 
and also touchstone, the basis of all metals. So the conversation between Ramananda Rai and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is like it provides us everything what is required. And they were like the expert miners. They were mining and they were bringing out these most valuable jewels one after the other. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Rai worked like miners, excavating all kinds of valuable jewels. So came out copper, then came out some other metal and then silver and then gold and finally Chintamani, uh, you know, the touchstone came out, which is the source of all metals that was described in the previous verse. Each one better than the other, their question and answers are exactly like that. The next day, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu begged Ramananda Rai to give him permission to leave. And at that time of farewell, the Lord gave him the following orders. Vishaya chariya tumi yaha nila chale Ami tita kari taha asival pakale Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, Give up all material engagements and come to Jagannath Puri. I will return there very soon after finishing my tour and pilgrimage. This is also uh, a very distinct and a different instruction Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving. We saw that all the personalities Chaitanya Mahaprabhu met previously, Kurma Brahman and other people he would meet on the way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would always instruct them, stay in the place where you are, you chant the holy names, you, you inspire your family, you inspire the people whom you meet to chant the holy names. So this is what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was constantly instructing. But to Ramananda Rai, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, give up all your material engagements and come to Jagannath Puri. And I will also return very soon. The two of us shall remain together at Jagannath Puri and happily pass our time discussing Krishna. Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then embraced Sri Ramananda Rai and after sending him back to his home, the Lord took rest. After rising from the bed next morning, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited the local temple where there was a deity of Hanuman. After offering him obeisances, the Lord, Lord departed for South India. So we remember the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had left Jagannath Puri and he is on his tour to South India. So in between, in the place uh, at the bank of river Godavari, Vidyanagar, there he actually meets Ramananda Rai. So all these instructions and exchanges happens and Lord gives him his master plan that retire from whatever you are doing, come to Jagannath Puri and there we will sit and discuss Krishna Katha. And now he is continuing to his tour in South India. All the residents of Vindyanagar were of different faiths. But after seeing Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they abandoned their own faiths and became Vaishnavas. Ramananda Haila Prabhu Virahi Vivala Prabhu Rahe When Ramananda Rai began to feel separation from Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was overwhelmed. Meditating on the Lord, he gave up all his material business. So he made himself free. Though he was the governor, he, re he actually gave up all the material obligations and he was meditating on the Supreme Lord. I have briefly described the meeting between Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Ramananda Rai. That is true because they met for so many days and we have only few verses. No one 
can actually describe this meeting exhaustively. It is even impossible for Lord Sheshnag, who has thousands of hoods. So Sheshnag, with his thousands of hoods, if he was to explain and describe this meeting exhaustively, it was not possible. So what to talk about description here? Radha Krishna Leela Tate Karpura Milana Bhagyavana Gese Kare Aswadana their meeting is exactly like a mixture of condensed milk and sugar candy. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is compared to condensed milk and the milk flavor is enhanced by sugar candy which is Ramanandarai. And when they talk of the pastimes of Radha Krishna, camphor is added. One who tastes this combined preparation is most fortunate. This wonderful preparation has to be taken orally. Not that we mix condensed milk, sugar and camphor and drink. No, no. It has to be taken through the ear. If one takes it, he becomes greedy to relish it even further. So, it is once you take and then we can never leave it. In fact, we develop that intense greed to relish it more and more. By hearing the talks between Ramananda Rai and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, one becomes enlightened with the transcendental knowledge of the mellows of Radha and Krishna's pastimes. Thus, one can develop unalloyed love for the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. So how do I develop love for Radha and Krishna? How do I uh, control my mind from so many other distractive things and focus on Radha and Krishna? Just by hearing the conversation between Ramananda Rai and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya Raghura Tattva Jani Haite Vishwaskari Shona Tarka Nakari Chitte The author Krishna Das Kaviraj is requesting here that every reader to hear these talks with faith and without argument. Because our intelligence is imperfect, our mind is contaminated. So we should hear this conversation with faith and without argument. By studying them in this way, one will be able to understand the confidential truth of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So here is a warning by the author that this part of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes is most confidential. One can derive benefit quickly only by faith. Otherwise, by arguing, one will always remain far away. So, if I do not have faith and I use my mundane logic to understand this whole chapter, chapter number 8, the whole conversation, then I'll stay away from the real essence. Like in Bhagavad Gita, we have the ninth chapter, the most confidential knowledge. Similarly, this has come in the middle of Chaitanya Charita Amrita as the most confidential of all Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes. Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Advaita Charana Yahara Sarvaswatanre Mire Dhana He who has accepted as everything the Lord's lotus feet of Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu and Advaita Prabhu can attain this transcendental treasure. So all we have to do is completely non duplicitously in all humility, we accept the lotus feet of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu and Advaita Acharya. Sri Chaitanya, Nityananda, Advaita Charan. If we accept them, surrender unto them, then Mile e Dhana, then we receive this transcendental treasure of love of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna. Ramananda Raya Mora Koti Namaskara so how many uh, namaskar the author is offering? Koti namaskar. I offer 10 million obeisances unto the lotus feet of Sri Ramananda Rai. Why? Because from his mouth much spiritual information has been expanded by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is actually, he has demonstrated that how when he makes somebody his instrument like Ramananda Rai here, 
and through Ramanand Rai, he delivered the most profound message of all time to come. And the gratitude which the author and all of us have for Sri Ramanand Rai. Damodar Swarupe Rakaad Tanu Sare Ramananda Melan Leela Karila Prachare I have tried to preach the pastimes of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's meeting with Ramananda Rai in accordance with the notebooks of Sri Sarup Damodar Damodar Swarupe Kadacha Anusare According to the Kadacha or the notebook of Damodar Swarup uh, these pastimes have been described here Shri Rupa Raghunatha Padayara Aksha Chaitanya Charita Amrita Kahe Krishna Dasa Praying at the lotus feet of Shri Rupa and Shri Raghunath, always desiring their mercy, I Krishna Das narrate Shri Chaitanya Charita Amrita following in their footsteps. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare, Hare. So with this we conclude this chapter, this most confidential chapter where we discuss such amazing things which is not there in any other scripture. So such amazing knowledge was uh, given here by Ramananda Rai, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made him speak that. So this was the conversation between the two of them and in the next chapter we would travel along with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to South India and we will see whom all he meets and how he touches the hearts of so many other uh, living entities. So thank you all very much. Hare Krishna.